Super Bowl 57 recap. Let's start from the one yard line on the Eagles opening drive. Jalen Hurts rides the green wave into the end zone. And the Eagles went up 7-0 on the opening drive. They would use that formation a lot to gain a yard or two yards whenever they needed. But Kansas City came right back. Kansas City came right down the field. And they would have Travis Kelsey come in motion. That would really declare the Eagles' coverage on the play, man coverage. And Marcus Epps has got one-on-one with Travis Kelsey on a clear out, on a double move. And it was just way too easy. And just like that, the Chiefs tied the score up on their opening drive. It was 7-7 after a quarter. On the first play of the second quarter, A.J. Brown at the top would beat Trent McDuffie along with Juan Thornhill, a double coverage. And Jalen Hurts off of play action pass right here to Miles Sanders would turn around. And on this seven cut, the corner cut, he would throw the ball to his favorite deep target, A.J. Brown, who would outrun McDuffie in the end zone. And just like that, the Eagles were up 14-7, total control of the game. And then this, this changed the game right here. Eagles up 14-7 and 36 at the 48. Look at Nick Bolton, 32. He's spying on Jalen Hurts, all right? Wherever Jalen Hurts goes, Bolton goes. Now, Hurts sees it, but in changing his hands from the left hand to the right hand, he lost the ball. Nick Bolton scooped and scored and tied the score up 14-14. Chiefs got themselves an, an easy one, but the Eagles took control of the game in the second quarter. And when you look at it right here, it all started on this fourth and 14. Jalen Hurts just took over. It's just a quarterback draw, and he rides behind Dickerson and Mayalata for 14 yards. It was mostly Jalen Hurts, just one play after another, like this right here. On this fourth and five, they put it in Jalen's hands right here. Again, he gets Nick Bolton, who's spying him. Watch Nick Bolton spying him right here, and he just runs away from him, and he would go 28 yards. The longest run from scrimmage all day. It would set up the Eagles' next score. This one right here. Miles Sanders goes in motion. The Chiefs, they widen with them. Now the Eagles pull Jason Kelsey, and he kicks out on Nick Bolton. And just like that, Jalen Hurts would run for his second touchdown of the day. When you watch the play, watch Sanders goes to motion. Thornhill will go out with the number 22. Now Bolton will replace him at the end of the line of scrimmage. And here comes Kelsey to kick him out, and they run right behind Dickerson and Mayalata for the 21-14 lead. This play right here, you take a look at it, and Mahomes thinks he can get away from the Eagles at the end of the second quarter. And right there, his right ankle gets twisted up. And it looked like it was going to be the end for Patrick Mahomes going into halftime. Mahomes was down, but he wasn't out. And so the Chiefs came right down the field to start the third quarter, down 10, 24-14. And it was all Mahomes. It was the run game. It was Mahomes. No, he wasn't out. The ankle had a nice little renaissance at halftime, and he looked much better. In fact, he didn't look like he favored the ankle at all, running for 14 yards right there. And they would cut the lead to 24-21 on this Isaiah Pacheco one-yard run on the first drive of the third quarter. Right here, right behind Zeus, along with Noah Gray, right there, Trey Smith. Good lead blocks, and Pacheco would get into the end zone. The rookie would score on a one-yard run. And then you would get this. A lot of Juju Smith-Schuster on this RPO right here. Juju took over. And the run game took over. Quick throw right there to Juju for a first down. There was a whole lot of Isaiah Pacheco in the second half. The Chiefs are in 13 personnel. Three tight ends right here. And here's what you get. You get a good push right here by Zeus on Javon Hargrave. Excellent job on Chauncey Gardner-Johnson. And Pacheco ran hard for 11 yards right at the Eagles. And then the first play of the fourth quarter. Here you go, Mahomes right here to Juju, across the middle right here for 14 yards. And the protection, as it would all day, held up just great. Really, Mahomes not under any pressure. Andrew Wiley at right tackle. Orlando Brown Jr. at left tackle. Excellent job protecting the edges right here. Mahomes, all kinds of time to stay in the pocket to make that throw to Juju for a first down, 14 yards. And then a little hitch right here to Tony. Like, Tony goes out wide. Good play acting right there by Tony. Watch Tony go out. It looked like he's going to get this ball. And it gets two Eagle defenders to bite. And it opens up the hole behind him to Juju Smith-Schuster, who had an excellent second half. And then this play right here. We call this corn dog. Tony goes in motion. Watch Slay. Slay's going to point to rotate. Little corn dog action right here. That's the name of the play. And Mahomes gets it to Tony on corn dog for an easy five-yard touchdown to give the Chiefs the lead. 28-27. 
And then this punt return right here. The Chiefs hold the Eagles in the next series to a fourth and three right here. And Sipos punts this ball away to Cardarius Tony. Tony catches his ball at the 30. There's not an Eagle player within 15 yards. They did a good job against the Gunners. If you watch the Gunners on the outside, they do an excellent job up at the top. Brian Cook right there and Jalen Watson get the Eagle defender to come all the way inside. Now, here you go. Right there, you got seven Eagle defenders right there, and Tony makes them all miss. And he cuts back and he picks up a convoy right here, reverses field. He gets his numbers in his favor, and they ride him all the way down the sideline. It would set up the next touchdown to the Chiefs to Sky Moore for four yards to go up 35-27. It was time for Jalen Hurts to try to take over. It was really the, the Jalen Hurts show down 35-27, coming right down the field. With six minutes to go, he'd get this ball right here on the outside, A.J. Brown, for a first down, 11 yards. And then he would get Smitty down at the bottom right here against Legereus Sneed. Sneed bites on Zach Paschal, and Jalen Hurts reads it perfectly, and he gets to, to Devontae Smith inside the five-yard line. And that would set up this green wave again. Jalen Hurts from the two, his third touchdown run of the day, a Super Bowl record right there. Was there any doubt that the Eagles would go for two down 35-33? And was there any doubt that Jalen Hurts was going to run the two-point try? Excellent job right here by everybody. Quarterback power all the way. Malata, Dickerson, Sanders, everybody leading the way. And then Jalen Hurts just finding six inches of daylight to tie the score up 35-35. But the Chiefs would get the ball back with just over five minutes to go. Here it is. Watch Sherman, the fullback here, with the cut block. Now, you get Tooney and you get Smith on the outside. And there goes Pacheco for 10 yards with three and a half minutes to go in the game. And then this one, the biggest run of the day by the Chiefs. Little motion right here. And you can see the Eagles come after Patrick Mahomes with a five-man rush right here. Mahomes sees man coverage, and he takes off with it. He runs away from the defensive line. Javon Hargrave, Jordan Davis, takes Kazir White to bring him down 26 yards later. And then third and eight right here, you get a motion here by Juju Smith-Schuster with James Bradbury in motion. A little wit route right here. And Bradbury is charged with holding Juju Smith-Schuster and the flag would come out. That would set up a first down. The Chiefs would take more time off the clock. And then they would have Harrison Butker Wayne winning field goal to win 38-35 in dramatic fashion, leaving the Eagles just a few ticks left on the clock. And Patrick Mahomes, second MVP, second Super Bowl trophy in four years for the Kansas City Chiefs.